हेलो एवरीवन आई एम दत्तात्रेय निकम वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन अवर चैनल ई फंडा न्यू डे न्यू टॉपिक एंड आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज व्हाट इज एच एम आई पार्ट ट्वेल्व एल वन एंड इफ यू आर न्यू टू अवर चैनल देन प्लीज विजिट टू अवर चैनल एंड वॉच ऑल द वीडियोज क्रिएटेड रिलेटेड टू द टॉपिक ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग प्रोजेक्ट फंडामेंटल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड इंजीनियरिंग डेलेवरेबल्स कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड मेनी अदर एंड Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel E Funda. So let's begin with our today's topic. That is, what is HMI Part Twelve L One? Introduction to Human Machine Interface. That is HMI. The Human Machine Interface HMI is the collection of a screen, graphic display, and other technologies used by the operator. to monitor and interact with the control system human machine interface or commonly called man machine interface is the interface software between machine or a plant and the operator or the observer the signals of the process are connected to hmi by means of devices with input output card in computer plc rtu that is remote units or a drives all these devices must have a communication that hmi understand one can refer the connectivity diagram for hmi where you can see all the interfaces with respect to plant actualization process database and further to hmi and hmi is designed to make process industries work easier and to monitor status of the process online human machine interface is a function of a real technology so by making a suitable hmi design it will make feasible work easier modern hmi concept in a industry is a medium of a communication between operator and design that is ideally able to provide the necessary information so that planning is being carried out with a maximum efficiency functions of hmi one providing up to date plant information to operators through a graphical user interface to translate operator instructions to the machine three engineering development station now one can see the parts of hmi one static and dynamic display same we can differentiate between two pictures that is a dynamic and static static is a stand picture or a still picture whereas a dynamic is a moving screen second alarm management one can see the picture where the alarms can be seen on a train that is before and after three trending for the trending one can see the graphs where various trends are shown so as to differentiate various colors are being used to report the trending and fourth and most important is the reporting where one can see the screen where the various parameters on the date specified is being displayed so that operator will get the complete information in terms of reporting moving on to functions of hmi system functions of an hmi software one can refer the picture where human and machine interface or interaction is shown where the machine is talking to the human that is operator or operator is giving instructions or information to the machine now we'll move one by one a monitoring it is the ability to obtain and display plant data in real time this data can be displayed as a numbers text or a graphics that allows a reading easier to interpret supervision this functions allow together with the monitoring the possibility of adjusting the working condition of the process directly from the computer one can see the pictures below where plc and hmi is connected so as to have the monitoring and supervision directly from the computer or a hmi alarm 
it is the ability to recognize exceptional event within the process and report them control it is the ability to apply algorithm that adjusts the values of the process and thus maintain these values within the certain limit historian it is the ability to display and store in file process data at a certain frequency the storage of a data is a powerful tool for optimization and correction of processes in this video we have briefly seen the parts of hmi now we will see the details of it first static and dynamic display on the hmi display there are two kinds of views namely static objects and dynamic objects a static object which is an object that is directly related to the equipment or the database example static text production unit layout b dynamic object which are objects that allows the operator to interact with the processes equipment or a database and allows the operator to take control action example push buttons light chart etc second alarm management a large production system can monitor up to many alarms with many of these alarms can confuse the operator so each alarm must be acknowledged by the operator so that the action can be carried out accordingly to the type of alarm there are or therefore an alarm management is needed with the aim of eliminating meaningless alarms the types of alarms are a absolute alarm high and high high and low b deviation alarm deviation high and deviation low c rate of change alarm positive rate of change or negative rate of change three trending changes from the continuous process variables are best if presented using a color graphs and the reported graph can be summary or historical fourth reporting reporting will make general reports easier by using report generator such as alarm summary reports in addition reporting can also be reported in a database messaging system and a web based monitoring making specific reports is made using a specific report generator reports can be obtained from various ways including through the periodic activation at a certain intervals such as a daily or a monthly activities and through demand operator and hope this today's video will help you to understand what is hmi introductions of hmi functions and the parts of hmi keep watching this series as you will get more in interesting facts in this series with this we are concluding on our today's topic and you can find our channel details as follows if you are new to our channel that is our youtube channel e funda then subscribe to our channel e funda and don't forget to press bell icon to get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel e funda similarly you can follow us on instagram page similarly you can follow us on our facebook page as well and keep watching our channel e funda for various topic related to engineering and a project with this we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic keep watching our channel e funda thanks watch our channel for new day new topics